Hey guys, Taco Mage here. Welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. So, let's see if we can't get our Polaroid today. Who should we do it with? Uh, you know, I'm feeling maybe like an Eve run, Samson run. You know, Samson's only ever killed... killed the... Yeah, let's do... I think he's only killed the, the mom's heart once, so we might as well jump in with Samson. I like Samson. He's a, a cool character. Yeah. Do damage to take da or take damage to do dam do damage to take damage. That's kind of backwards. He's the pacifist character. You're not supposed to do anything with him. Oh, I need to get my seed. Once I finish this room, I will just grab that. Once I finish this room, there we go. Alrighty then. So ooh, key. So what do you need? Oh no, I really don't want to take that, do I? Uh, mm, it would be weird. But I just, I, no, I really don't. I, if, if, no. If I happen to find soy milk on this floor, I would take it in the heartbeat, but it, the chant, no. It, that's just, I want to do a kind of a, a, a quickish Samson run, and I say that as I'm shooting fire. Okay, so now I can take two hits of damage, speed up a little bit. Oh, that's right, you can't, can't get hit on these guys, you can just nuzzle them, but I can hit, hit myself on the fire. So anyway, yeah, Samson. You take damage to do damage, so when you got some red health on the floor, especially when it's the first floor, you might as well just take a couple of hits and speed yourself up a little bit. Get some clear speed, extra damage. I could probably even take... You know what? Let's take a couple more hits. Because it's not really... First floor isn't that precarious, and the damage up will speed me up tremendously. And I'm going to be trying to talk a little bit slower today, because I know that I have this bad habit of talking super fast when I get excited, but not th just that I talk super fast, but also that I slur my words together. And I am trying to break myself of that habit so that I can do better videos. So I'm trying to run into that rock. I'm trying to enunciate a little more. I'm trying to talk a little slower, a little more deliberately. And I'm trying to, you know, mellow myself down a little bit. Only get excited for short stints. I really wish I had a bomb. And just, you know, chilling out a little bit, not getting all, getting all word slurry. Let's see what this is. <sighs> Thank you. Okay. Oh, and of oh, good bubblegum hot. I love bubblegum hot. He's the one with the, uh, the the crazy, the crazy brimstone shenanigans, isn't he? Can't remember which one he is. No, he's that one. Okay. Oh, PJs. Well, thank you. There's a whole bunch of health. Oh, it even fills up your regular health. I did not know that. All right. Well, that gives me some damage I can take on the next floor. That's certainly good. I think we're just going to go ahead and lose two of those hearts right away. Give me a little bit of speed here. I'd like to... See, I'd really like to maybe make boss rush, but if nothing else, I'd like to get this run over and, like, I don't know... 25 minutes, 30 minutes, I liked a nice fastish run. And I know that's not fast, fast, but that's faster than I typically do them. Oh. Sorry about that, was uh, interrupted by something that kind of made me have to stop the game and uh, start recording later. So I have no idea what my train of thought was before I got interrupted. I think it had something to do with losing a couple of these hearts for some damage. In fact, let's, yeah, let's take a little bit of damage. Yep. Just ram myself right in there. One more. There we go. That should be good for now. All right, thank you. Thank you for rewarding me for taking, you know, damage on purpose. Maybe we'll take one more hit. There we go. You know you can take six, but I like to keep a little bit of leeway just in case I get hit again. I'd hate for it to go to waste and just be damage. It's a, it's a weird way to hedge your bet. You know, I'm going to take damage and... Yeah. Was there something up here? Oh yeah, bombs, cool. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, this is not a great item, but it's an okay item, especially if I can just happen to get Mom's Knife. With Mom's Knife, that is a tremendous item. Basically makes you a spinning vortex of death. And I just kind of want to get to the, the boss now. If I found, like, a whole bunch of money, I would do the shop, but... Uh, I, actually, I'm feeling pretty solid right now. Well, no, I don't. I wouldn't say solid. I feel solid for the next couple of floors. Ooh, next couple of floors, but 
in general, I am going to need something more than just Samson's damage bonus. Boss got to be in this direction, right? Yeah, but with a... Uh, I'd say Torn Photograph would probably be the item I would want most right now. Torn Photograph, the Binky... Uh, what else is a good one? The Screw, I think, is okay. Come on, guys. Even, like, Coat Hanger would be okay. But uh, I think uh, Torn Photograph would be, like, the ultimate... Because Samson, he can get damage. It's the tier 8 that I really need to beef up. Spacebar item would be nice too. Pin? Okay. I can do pin. I can do some pin action. I already got him a quarter down. Come on. Stay up. Stay up. Oh. Almost took it in the face there. Okay. So there we go. There's a little bit of damage. Synth oil. I really want to tier 8, but I'll take some damage. Ghost Babby. Really? Ghost Babby and a mom hand? At least she gave me a key. Let's finish off these fires, get a coin. I really don't want to be on Angel Rooms, but at the same time, I really don't want Ghost Babby. That's that's a terrible follower. There are worse ones, but eh. Ghost Babby, not, not the greatest. Uh, well, I want to take some damage anyway, so might as well. Nope. Not taking Cursed Eye. I, I know that I've already... I, I've had to have already taken it. Cursed Eye is one that can be... Okay, in the right situation. It's just that it's it's a big double-edged sword, and I really don't want to deal with a double-edged sword on a run where I'm trying to move a little bit faster. Yeah, at this point, not really disappointed or concerned about damage. Probably don't want to take any more on the floor unless I get another soul heart. If I get another soul heart, I'd probably take another hit. Uh, anything in here? Nope, 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 nope. Out, good. Done. I... Uh, this could be heading towards the boss, I guess. I mean, all I really want to do is find my item room and the boss and maybe do this challenge room if the challenge room isn't total rubbish. Yeah, I could I could stand to get some... Okay, I was going to say, I could stand to get some health to take another hit, but I'll take another hit. That's fine. I think that's what... Is that my fourth hit on the floor or my third hit on the floor? It feels like my fourth, I would say. I, can't, I think I came down with a full heart, didn't I? Could have sworn. Yeah, must have. Okay. So let's check out this challenge. Ooh. I really need a space bar item. The lovers. Mm, if I got Krampus's or Krampus, yeah. Not Krampus. If I got the goat head. Okay, now I don't want to take damage. I, I need to stop taking damage, stop being careless, and just sit back and play a little bit. I mean my damage is gonna be pretty pretty awesome now. Yeah, I've taken out those in either two or three hits, and these in one, so, yeah. Not having a damage problem. Now I'm having a bit of a health problem. Key is not health. I would actually take a peek in my shop right now, if I run across it. I'm gonna not see the shop, though. I have a feeling. Okay, you guys need to settle down. Okay, let's see what we... Really? Really? Is this really the item set I'm going with here? Lo I mean, I got PJs, Loki's horns. Yeah, this is not... Uh, okay, I guess this is our build. This is our build for... Is this fourth floor? Third floor. Third? Fourth? I have lost all track of where I am. Let's say I just fought pins, so this must be third floor. Something. Let's just break these poops. I might get enough money for the shop. I don't think I'm going to go back for the shop on this floor, but I would... Do some shopping on the next door. I'm getting stuck on the scenery again. We all know that I'm good at doing that. Come on. Die, because I don't want you to have your... Your shenanigans. To use a... What is that, like a 38-letter word? Yeah, shenanigans. 38 letters. Check it out. True story. Uh, do I want to go back for the shop? What are we at? We're at 8 minutes. We're at floor 3. No, let's just go. I might be able to hit another shop yet. It'll it'll definitely be greed, though. Just because I didn't do it on that floor. Okay, so I need some health so that I can take some hits. Because otherwise, my damage is not okay. I think I'm rocking... Well, I'm rocking one damage up plus cube of meat. And I don't really want to use the cube of meat on these guys unless I can get it lined up right. I know they can be used on those, but... Uh, okay, like this. There we go. 
Because if you get it just right, it blocks the shots as well as kills the enemy. I really need to just get up here and take care of this guy. Alright, guys. Perfect. Ah. Did not time that one correctly and almost ran right into the bullet. Okay. I need just a little bit of health so I can take some damage. And I need not to be in a room with these things. There, got rid of one of them. Ooh. That cube of meat just saved my butt. Because I was doing something stupid like I always do. I went tangential to the the black leech. Whatever it's called. It's gonna make yeah, it's gonna make me go through the big room. Uh I got extra bombs more than I've got keys, so I'll, I'll do that for the key. Now it's just gonna give me lots of keys. Cause that's the way Isaac is. I'm just gonna stand up here and do this. La 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 la. But yeah, could go for a goat head. That way I could start I could start uh, using my red my red health to take some of the damage that I need. But that's one of those things that I just I'm not gonna be able to count on. I might be able to see it in the devil deal though, that would be nice. Although I might be on angel rooms. I could see it in like a challenge. that's gonna be a, yeah. I could see it in a challenge room or something. I think it's also a secret room. Mm. Okay, I gotta try it. Cause that could be a piece of the cat. Could be some soul hearts. It's gonna be <gasps> piece of the cat, yes. And probably the most useful piece at this point, honestly. Because that's going to scale with my damage as I... Whoa, how did I not get hit by that? I know I ask that question a lot. And I always I always mean it. Because, like, it totally looked like I got nailed by that bat just chasing into my face. Uh, let's see, there was a... Ch oh, no, it's a boss challenge room, which I can't do. I don't think I want to do the cursed room because I've only got the half soul heart. And more than anything, I would want devil, or even an angel deal. An angel deal that gave health actually wouldn't be that bad right now. Because with the health, I could take Pisces. Real no, that's Gemini. I always mix up Gemini and Pisces for some reason. Even though they don't look anything alike. This is really going to be my build. I'm getting just awful items. I mean, I've gotten... I wouldn't say this is like the worst run ever, but I'm not getting great items. I've had much stronger builds than this. That would be interesting. If I had lots of bombs, I would do it. Alright. Ooh. Did not even have the cube of meat on the right side of me on that one. Okay. Oh! I thought I was out of the way of that. I think I was mis... I think I was uh, mistaken. I was juked out by that Paul up there throwing an extra bullet. Not that that was the one that hit me, but I just thought because I was looking at it that I was that I was dodging something else. Okay, this is actually a really good boss for this build. I don't know where I was going with all that, by the way. I, I know what I want to say, but I can't words right now. I cannot words. Okay, well that was the best case. Ooh, okay, there's some tier eight. Not the not the tier eight that I was hoping for as far as the item, but I'll take any tier eight right now. We're just gonna keep going. Got my item room, and it was terrible. At this point, I'm just like, eh, item rooms. I need stats. Okay, well, this I definitely want to do. If I don't get stuck on the scenery. Let's see what we got here. Oh, it's a library. Hmm. Let's see, that's the Bible, which I'm going to touch. But I think I'm actually going to take the Book of Shadows with me. Because that's... That's basically half cost for... For cursed rooms, and like if things get hairy, it's invincibility for like 30 seconds or something like that. It's like a super long invulnerability. I think it's the longest invulnerability that you can get. I think it's even longer than Celtic Cross, which I think is the second. Hmm. That doesn't really feel feel worth it. I don't. The only thing that that could possibly have that I'd want is a soul heart, and those are actually pretty rare in there. Again, trying to slow down my talking so that I don't. Oh. Stop room. Okay, guys. That's that's quite enough of that. Thank you. Okay. Key. Let's see. I have not actually found my shop. I found a lock. Let's just spin the key. I don't I, I don't like this room. That'll be useful for later if I if I'm dumb and take damage. Ooh. Well, that's interesting. Oh, well, there's that stupid damage I was talking about. That wasn't so stupid. I just got jumped by ghosts that I was not expecting. I don't know that I've ever seen this room before. 
There goes my angel slash devil deal, unless I just so happen to pick up a, a goat head somewhere in this floor. It actually is possible. In fact, I could get like, uh, what is it? The nemesis? Hmm, do I try for this? Or do I, hmm. It seems like it'd kind of be worth it. Of course, I can hit my invulnerability and push them out. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so I can open that, which is a good thing that <laughs> I'm invulnerable. Push that out. Just open that. Um, I don't think I actually wanted to pick that up. <laughs> oh. Fine. Fine. Whatever. Uh, can I... Is this one of the ones I can't actually drop? I think I can drop it. Though. Yeah, Cursed Skull is pretty awful. I think that's the one where you get hit, you teleport. I'm almost positive that that's what that is. Okay. None of your spider shenanigans, thank you very much. Alright, so we found our item room. I just hope that it's something. Like, not awful. It's gonna be awful! Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's... Oh, it's the sticky bomb shot. That's not the one that I thought it was. It's it's not great, but it's okay. There are far worse items than this one. As you can see, it's just... Sticky bomb shot. I, this is one of those rooms where it's like almost inevitable unless you've got just a tremendous amount of damage that you're gonna take damage walking into it. It's not really that big a deal. I've already taken damage, so taking any more doesn't matter. Get some red hearts on the ground, it would be nice. Then I could actually take some extra hits. Be better it might actually turn out that it's just better for my build to take the to take some take some damage at some point and just not have the devil deals. Be nice if I get some I'm never gonna ever say this again, but that's if I get some red health. And sticky bomb shots again, not the worst item. It's just not the greatest. It has its uses. It can be used to kill, you know, clustered enemies, but are there things that I'd rather have? Well, definitely. Yeah, well, he's pretty much just dead man walking. As is he. <laughs> Gemini, I think, is doing more work than I am. Okay, well, now I just need a flame, because I can take one more hit and then be at full. So let's backtrack a little bit. I, I can't use spikes. I need a flame. Spikes take off a whole heart. Uh, I think if I... Yeah, there's... Yeah, you... There you go. Thank you, Haunt. Okay, so now I can go back, grab that heart, and do the boss. And I've even got my Book of Shadows to make the boss just a little bit easier on me. Yeah, we're just going to pop it. I know I'm going to get hit by that, uh, what is it called? The spikes. Yeah, there he goes. Well, I, I had asked for red health. I got it. I'm, I mean, whelmed. That's... I got exactly what I asked for, even though it's not what I really, really wanted. It is something that I was okay with getting. Okay, let's head in here. Um, if gre I'll check my shop, and I'll actually come back for that, because I still need ball and... I said I was going to do a quick run, but I do need ball in the cup. Or skull cup. Skull gameplay. Oh, well, good. I do need plays of the skull game. I keep wanting to call it ball and cup, because that's what it's based on. Uh, Actually... I'll take that. Piercing shot? Sure. Oh, no, there's greed, so my shop is going to be real. But I might end up with some left over to play the Skull game. This is my last floor with a shop on it, so I don't have to worry about... I mean, I could donate, but at the same time... Ooh. I'm okay with that, actually. And I got free in... Oh, wait, no, I already paid for it in there. I could have been in there for free. Uh, no, no. Ghosts? No, no, no ghosts. No, no ghosts. Like Meow Meow Kitty, only dead. That got dark fast, didn't it? No, Me Meow Meow Kitty's still okay. Uh, I, I have kids, so, you know, there's there's a lot of Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood going on, and if you don't know what that is, uh, you know, you're better off not knowing. Part of your childhood dies, especially if you were growing up in the 70s and 80s. But, you know, it's okay. It is okay. I didn't need that part of my childhood anyway. Cran and for those of you who know what I'm talking about, Cran fact Orange Cran Factory. You know what I'm talking about? Orange Cran Factory. So good. 
I really don't like fruitcake. I really don't like fruitcake. I'm I'm gonna leave it. I I just I don't want I don't want to deal with it. I do not want to deal with fruitcake. All right, so I need to find I need to find the shop. So I'm I probably could have done boss rush, but you know what? I really I'm really not uh, really not feeling the boss rush with this build. Like I'm. I haven't taken any damage on this floor so far, though, which is nice, but I... There's no... There hasn't really been any opportunities to get, like, a soul heart or anything. Ooh, what's this? Two of diamonds! Nice! Okay, we're gonna hold that on to the last moment possible. Uh, let's not do the fires. We don't We don't need to do the fires. We've got a two of diamonds. And yeah, it could be just a little bit more money, but I... I I'm too lazy. I just... I don't. I don't. What's with all those troll bombs all of a sudden? Oh, okay, there's my... Hmm... Hmm... Oh, that's one on spider. I forgot my two of diamonds. Two of diamonds. And I didn't even bomb this guy before firing off my two of diamonds. It's gonna be money. Yep. Daco did that in the worst possible order. Don't... don't be me. Don't do things in the order that I do things. I am terrible at this game. Okay, so now we got to backtrack and do the skull game. I am not going to make you guys watch that. Oh, good. All right, so I've done my, done my uh, done my skull game, and I don't have to do it ever again. Ah, that's nice. So it was the counterfeit penny that you get from doing the skull game, which I believe that's the one that sometimes makes your coins worth two. I, I'm almost positive that that's what the the effect is. So I need to. Hmm, I can't do this guy unless I do him now. Well, if I take a hit, I will come back and I will play that guy out. And here's a room where I'm going to take a hit. Oh, maybe not. I forgot. Oh, I forgot. Spider mod can can do random effects and things. Like, what is going on? Yeah. Ooh. Well, that was that was handy. Got a free bomb out of that. Nope. 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 Don't. Nope. 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 Jeez. Why did... Oh, that's right. It's like, why did that explode? Because I've got those. Right. Okay, um... It's possible that I can do this mom fight without taking any damage. So, uh... Oh, I got the cube of meat. I keep forgetting to use the cube of meat. Gotta do that in the mom fight. Okay, so we're just gonna take... So we're just gonna take it, and we're just gonna ram our cube of meat into the, the bits. Especially into the mom's foot while it's down. Do not stand by the explosive stuff. Oh, there's also a soul heart in here. Uh, let's do that. I could... Oh. I should have said there's a tinted rock. Whenever you say, oh, there's definitely going to be a soul heart, that's when you get the... That's when you get the chest one. I'll, I'm will i going to do it, but I'm going to wait till the floor is done, because I don't want to have to distract myself with trying to get loot. Okay, there we go. Alrighty, let's see what's in here. Burnt penny, alright. Uh, actually, I think I would rather have... Is Pushpin every shot, or is it every couple of shots? I think it's every couple of shots. Let's take Burnt Penny. Definitely take the Soul Heart. Don't have a choice here. Let's leave with the Angel Eyes Force. The Wafer. Okay, I will take the Wafer. I don't think I can bomb this guy yet. No. But I will bomb the Flames. For nothing. Alright, well, not like I really need that many bombs anyway. On we go. So this is a, I'm going to call this a minimally competent build. It's pretty much set unless I find, ooh, I'm going to do this. <gasps> Cricket's head. There's some damage. There's some damage. Yeehaw. I did not want to get too close to that. <laughs> Alrighty, so Cricket's head is definitely a huge pickup. What I would really like to see now is a small rock. I would love a small rock, thank you very much. Okay, well that's fine. That's fine. Take damage to do damage. I'm I'm fine with that. I took damage. Okay, what what the heck is going on here? <laughs> There's too much going on. Alright, well, we took a couple of hits in there, lost my only soul heart, but that's okay. The world card, we'll you pop that right now and take the lovers with us. Um, hmm, where are we going? We are going right. I don't think there's any reason to go left, so might as well just go. 
Oh, good. Double Paul, pink poly. I am definitely going to take damage in this room. There's just not enough. I, I'm just basically just ramming straight into it to Polly because there is no way I was not taking damage in that room. I don't know that I have any other... Ooh, ooh. Man, a couple of jerk rooms right one after another. All right. Let's see here. I think I've now maxed out... Well, I forgot to do with the secret room. So I think I've maxed out my damage bonus now. So, uh, pretty much unstoppable force at this point. He says that. But I need some health. That is not health. At the same time, look at that damage. Holy moly. That dude just melted. I keep forgetting. I have the... I have the Book of Shadows. What is it with me and space bar items? I can never remember that I've got them. Oh, I was hoping so much for soul heart. I might get a regular heart out of a flame. Oh, well, half of a heart. I'll take it. Ruins my half heart interval, but at this point... Uh, I'm all in red hearts only anyway, so I can always just take a hit to get to the half heart interval. Or quarter heart. Yeah, half heart interval. Quarter heart interval. That's wishful thinking. You've got the you got the wafer. You don't have some sort of weird cheat item. Ooh. That was a lucky use of the uh, uh lucky use of the cube of meat there. I do not like this room. <laughs> Mostly because I don't like those I'm not even sure what they're called. The little jump-up polyps. I do not like them. Because if you don't have any range chia, they're almost impossible. Well, they're impossible to do without, like, guaranteed taking a hit. There we go. I haven't fought... Uh, this like I say, I haven't fought Kravitz because I'm in Angel Rooms, right? Yes, Taco. Remember what you're doing. Well, the last time I was in that room, I took... Oh, thank you. That's a, a nice golden key that I can't use. Fantastic. Ooh. All right, well, uh, I'll go. Skolax. Oh, we'll take care of these guys first, because they're actually more dangerous than Skolax is, honestly. Less irritating than Skolax, that's for sure. Wow. Look at that damage. That damage was just flying in there. I just need you to show your butt like once or twice more. Show me your butt. I just wish you would stick around long enough to get exploded. Dude, I need to explode you. Come on. I got splody tears. Let me explode you. Explode. I might actually kill him in the air. I don't so rarely do that. Yeah, kill him in the air. All right. Well, we'll take caffeine pill. Not really great, but eh, it's okay. Yep. Well, at least we got an extra an extra heart out of the, the deal. We're on we go. All right, two more floors. We're doing good. I was trying to make it under 30. I think we're going to be just north of it. What are we at now? 27. Yeah, we're going to be just north of 30. Not going in there. Especially if I choose the wrong direction. That's not helpful. <sighs> Could use some flying, you know, not going to lie. There, I was going to say, is there a tender rock in here? There's got to be. There actually is. It's right up here. As long as I look for them, I can usually find tender rocks. Usually, there was that one a couple uh, couple of episodes ago that I saw in post. I was like, uh... It was really bad because I was even checking that room for a tender rock. I felt so terrible. <laughs> like, I wish there was a tender rock in here. And then, like, staring at it in post going, there was a tender rock in there, doofus. Come on. This is why I hate these enemies. Because they don't they, they stay down much longer than they stay up. They're like the most time waster enemy in the game. Other than maybe Skolex. And the fact that Skolex Oh, okay. The fact that Skolex is in a room with these is just basically the the devs just owning up to the fact that yeah, we created this this whole situation to waste time. Yeah, what of it? You wanna fight about it, mister? Any tinted rock in here? I don't think I saw one. All right, uh, I don't want to do that because it will cost me my only. Well, I I could use I could use the charge of my book of shadows, but I really kind of want to save it primarily because I don't know how far the boss is, and I don't want it to clear more of a womb floor than absolutely necessary. Stop! Ugh. 
Why do we have to fight so many of these? What even hit me there? What even hit me? Ah. Again, time waster boss. Mostly because of that animation, just, it takes up time. If you could keep hitting them during the animation, that would be okay. Ugh. I'm going the wrong way? That ugh wasn't for this room, it was for the fact that it was a dead end. So I guess it was indirectly about the room, but it was more about me going the wrong way. Might as well give it a shot. Nope. Could also be down there. Alright, come on. Come on. There we go. I'm gonna try it. No, okay. Well, oh, but there is a tinted rock in here. Look at that. Nom 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 nom. Okay, on we go. Need oh, is this crazy? this is a crazy hand room, isn't it? I hate crazy hands. Mostly because those Yeah. Oh, it's double crazy hand. Ooh. That was uh <laughs> That was alarming. Some good. The world card, yes. Let's speed things up. Where are we going? We are going up. Good. No, we do not want to deal with hearts. That's well, at least I don't think it's mask of infamy in this room. I think it's just a couple of hearts. I, actually, Mask of Infamy is the boss. Those are like mini Masks of Infamy? I don't really know how that works. Oh, why would... Well, okay. That's, it's okay. I take damage to do damage. Bad trip. No, thank you. No, thank you. Not at all. Um. Yeah, no thank uh, That We're just going to be done with that room. We're going to be done with that room, too. Two keys? I've got the golden key. It doesn't matter. Oh, there's some more soul hearts? Good! We are doing good for the next floor. I'll be able to take a little bit of... of um, a little bit of damage going into the next floor, and, uh, yeah. I think I'll save it towards the end of the floor, just in case, because if I take accidental damage, it's, you know, not as big a deal. Yeah, blow up on her, yeah! That was a very bomb-tastic. Okay, so we are going up for the Polaroid, that's right. It's a weird one because I picked up the negative, which means that my inclination was to go down, but we're actually trying to make the Polaroid, so we had to go up. And, uh, see, that's why I didn't take the damage on purpose, because I know I'm going to take accidental damage. Just leak money all over the floor. For bombs. Okay. Nope, not this way. Or at least not directly. Yeah. Probably could have gotten out of that without taking damage, but I got, uh... I got lazy, I was just like, eh. Eh. <sighs> really? Not... Okay, it's not in this direction at all. Trust me to pick the wrong direction every time. What I always say it... What I always say is, if I, if I got the... If I got a 50-50 chance of doing something right, and in this case, not even that, but if I got a 50-50 chance of doing something right, I'll pick it wrong every single time. One of those weird laws of probability. Uh, the ta Takosian law of... Is Takosian a thing? That sounds like it should be a real word. Probably is. Maybe not in English, but I think it's a real word. Alright. Weird. Saying weird... Word... Saying words weird. Great. Let's just talk about English while we're here. Oh, it can actually do that? The burnt penny can give you a troll bomb? I don't remember that. Was that... That might have been added. Oh. At least I've taken some damage in this floor already, and I had planned to anyway, but... Now we're just... Got a little bit more clear speed from it. I should take some, just... I should take some on-purpose damage, but at this point it feels like I shouldn't. Pheromones! Good card. Uh, but then again, let's just, let's just do it. Let us just... Ooh, okay! <laughs> Alright, let's nom some red hearts. Hmm, do I want... Book of Shadows, or do I want Guppy's Paw? You know, I think if I just fissure off... Okay, then I can nom that. Unfortunately, I think I'm at... I'm at full, because I can take four more hits on this red heart that I've got left. Let's, um... Well, let's do it anyway, just because I'm not sure how many hits I've taken. I've probably taken enough, but... I want to make sure, and I really want to leave with the Book of Shadows. We'll fire it off so that I don't take any more damage. Alright. 
So now I know my damage is max. That was perfect. I'm one piece off of Guppy, but there's like next to zero chance of me getting the last piece of Guppy. In the I remember the last time I said that? That there was no way of me making the cat? I think that was a greed run. And like it was offered to me like all three pieces or it was two out of three pieces in like run roll of the D6. I remember that because I, that, I, I was overjoyed and saddened at, at the same time. Because the game was just looking to make me wrong. <laughs> yes, finally. I don't know why I was concentrating so hard on those. I was like, oh, come on, bombs. I was thinking more about the bombs than anything else. All right. Ooh. Guppy. I don't think they can actually drop out of a... I was thinking that on the on the cathedral you could actually get get the the drop out of a regular chest, but I actually don't think that that's possible. I think in the chest it works, but not at least at least in the uh, wow. I can't even words. I, I cannot words. The 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 place below below Shoal, the the dark room. I think I know it works in the dark room, but I. I want to say that maybe golden chests can have guppy pieces, too. I cannot remember. I can't remember my pools. Alrighty. Really? Not this way, either? Ugh. Come on. Like, all I need is just... I uh, I just need to fight Isaac. That's that's all I need. Like, I, my build is done. I just want to fight Isaac. Just let me find the boss. I want to find the boss. I could have actually... I could be bombing through here, but... For some reason, I'm stubborn and I'm just going to fight everything. I should just be bombing through. Because I got tons of bombs and there's no reason... There's no reason to be fighting everything. Especially not rooms like this. Although, actually... Oh, there's that scenery. Oh. Of course. Yeah. Lock up. That's well time. There, finally. Alright, well I have to fight these guys. So, we did, so the, the strategy is... We go in and kill Isaac. I'll probably hit the the book as well. High Priestess versus the Lovers. High Priestess it is. Okay, so we hit our book, we hit our High Priestess card, and then we just sit here and try to get our tears and our Cuban meat right into Isaac's face. And then we back off. That was some fun shenanigans. Here, can you... No, he's gonna... Gonna teleport away. Oh, thank you, Spider-Mon. Oh, very nice. Blow up! Ah, I, I, I'm very committed to my, my blow-up bomb. My blow-up tier is actually doing something. Ah, Isaac! Isaac, let me blow you up. Let me blow you up. There. There. No, no! He's not gonna let me blow him up, is he? Like, it's not even about ending the boss. It's about me blowing him up. Ah, he didn't let me blow him up. Jerk. All right, well, that was a successful run, and if we go through here now, we get Bloody Lust and the Polaroid. And you know what that means? Well, it unlocked another challenge, but what that really means is now we have to do a Blue Baby run with Blue Baby. When we do that, we get our D6 on Isaac. And you know what that means? That means we can finally start doing hard mode. I am absolutely beside myself as you can tell from the sound of my voice. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. Later!